Hey everyone, and welcome to the first podcast ever that I'm filming. Welcome to In Motion with me, Natalie Decker. I'm making this first one to really talk about and tell you guys what you can look forward to um, in these podcasts and sit down videos, talks, whatever you want to call them. Um, you definitely can look forward to seeing me and my guests talk about racing, lifestyle, um, inside scoops, you know, news about our lives or who I'm going to be having on here, and probably drama. So that's what you can really look forward to, um, what's going to be on these. I will have guests. There's a lot of questions, um, you know, probably family members because there's a lot of interesting things we can talk about. Um, race car drivers, other athletes, friends. Um, so that's definitely what you can be looking forward to. But for this episode, I wanted to make it like fun and interesting and really to entertain you guys. So on my social media, I asked you to send in assumptions that you have about me and there's some crazy ones. So I have about 20 that we can go through and I will answer truthfully as best as I can. So let's get right into that. I have them all on my phone. I screenshotted a lot of the questions that I thought were funny and some that were just fun as well. All right, so and some were like, I was like really wanting to answer because I feel like a lot of you maybe have thought this um, or maybe you don't know much about racing so you just assume these things and I really wanted to answer those ones as well. So one of them was opportunities come easy for you or easier for you because you're pretty and I feel like people assume that a lot about certain people um, so I wanted to answer this one and no they don't come easier everything that I have worked for I've worked so hard for and it doesn't just come like that um, there's some things that people see and they're like wow that came so easy to her or that just came out of nowhere but you really don't know what they're working on or what I'm working on behind the scenes to make that opportunity happen um, so to answer that one definitely not they do not come easy so that's that one okay I thought this was weird because I feel like all of you know me very well you don't like when fans approach you out in public like what okay that is so not true and for all of you that have met me in person know that I absolutely love meeting all of you and talking with you, signing autographs, taking pictures, even out when I'm in the grocery store I run into fans, um, my parents run into fans and FaceTime me so I can meet them. That one is not true as well. Oh, this one is hilarious. Okay, it's been said that Derek is a contract boyfriend. Is that true or not? No, that is not true. I mean, that's really weird. That's not true. I've actually had a crush on Derek since I was 14 years old. And my old race teams, old, older people that I've worked with, even Derek and his dad even knows this, that I've had a crush on him since I was 14. So that is not true. It's pure luck that he's with me. <laughs> Another assumption someone sent in was that I'm a model. Like they asked, they assumed that I was a model and I do modeling for magazines. Like I've done one for pole, to pole position. I've done ones for other magazines, um, companies from my Instagram or for their use on their social media or websites. So I have modeled for companies, but I'm not a model. I'm a race car driver. I'm a businesswoman. I'm all those things, but yes, I do model, but that, I'm not a model. Like my, bro my brother and his girlfriend, like that's definitely more their job title, if you didn't know. My brother is a model, yes. 
um, and he does that for a living. Like that's how he makes his money, and that's like more of his title because um, that's what he does to make his money. I don't do that to make money, but I do it as like a side thing because that's what it comes with, like the job. Like other drivers have to model as well. So, but I'm I'm not just a model, no. You have tattoos and or piercings. I thought this was fun because I do not have any tattoos. I do have four piercings on this ear and two on this one, but I will forever live through Derek on the tattoos. I don't think I will ever get one. I mean, but who knows? Um, but I, I don't have any right now. And I don't, I really don't think I'll get one. And I thought this one was interesting too. You find teens that will sign you fairly easy, um, and I feel like I've seen that in comments on some of my photos and things like that, and that's not true. I don't just, and other drivers don't just go to a team because it's easy. It's never easy. There's so many things that go into picking a team, signing with a team. There's the sponsorship that you need to have. That needs to be all lined up before you even approach a team. Um, you need to make sure the races you want or that the sponsor wants are available with that team. And also, um, if it's a good fit, like that matters. And sometimes you don't have a choice because a lot of seats are full. Maybe at the team you want to race for, all their seats are taken. So you can't go there and you have to go to like your second pick. But it really, it really isn't always up to the driver. You need to have the money. The seat needs to be available. And it does need to be a good fit, but those other things do come first. Um, so that that's not true at all. That assumption. All right, moving on to the next one. Okay, this one was just fun. Someone assumes that I like hot chocolate without marshmallows. Like, no, that is not true. I'm not a monster. <laughs> I need marshmallows with my hot chocolate. Who doesn't love marshmallows in their hot chocolate? Number one, it looks good. Um, it makes it look more pretty and like edible. And when the marshmallows are all like melty with the hot chocolate, that's what makes it good. So no, I need marshmallows in my hot chocolate. Is it true that you are married? No, I am not married. A lot of people ask me this because sometimes I wear a ring on this hand, on my left hand, but that's because I have rheumatoid arthritis and my hands swell up. My, they're always changing sizes. So sometimes it only fits on my left hand, sometimes it only fits on my right hand, and it just depends on the day or if I have a flare up or what's going on, like if I flew that day or traveled. But yeah, not married. Not yet. <laughs> so someone assumes that I have trouble telling people off that deserve it. And I thought this was interesting because like some people also were like assuming that I'm not as nice as I seem through social media, but any fan that I have met personally will probably tell you otherwise because I am just as bubbly and fun and nice on camera as I am off. But if someone deserves to be told something or they're not doing something that they should be doing and you need to tell them off, I mean, I have no trouble doing it the right way. I'm not, I mean, I'm not gonna be that mean person that just yells at everybody, but if I pay for something that, like, Derek has trouble doing this. If I'm at a drive-thru or a restaurant and I ordered something and I paid for it and it's not what I ordered, I will, like, ask nicely and tell them this isn't what I ordered. And Derek could not do that. It bothers me so much. Um, but like, I'm like, I paid for it. I ordered it. Like, <laughs> this is what I wanted. Like, please just get it right. 
um, but he can't. He'll just deal with it and eat it or drink it or whatever he ordered and they don't get it right. He'll be like, I'm good with it. And I'm not. I, I can't handle that. That makes me so upset. And I'm like, no, like if you paid for it, you, Derek, you have to ask them to change it or at least try. Someone sent in saying, you are actually a girly girl, and I feel like I show that. I feel like that that shouldn't be an assumption because I feel like my social media shows that I'm a girly girl, but I'll, yes, I'm very girly. I am a girl. I like to wear dresses and do my hair and makeup and all things that girls like, yes. That's me. I don't take very long to get ready. I mean, Derek might say otherwise, but like I could get ready in 10 minutes if I had to. I prefer taking 30 minutes, but if I had to, I could do it in 10. This one was weird, but I'm not wearing shoes right now, so I might as well do this one. So someone said, you're always wearing shoes because you're apprehensive of people seeing your feet in photos you'll like barely see me in socks or like barefoot because I feel like your outfit isn't put together or look nice on camera if you're like not wearing shoes yeah if you're at the beach or the pool or somewhere where like shoes aren't needed I understand and I won't wear my shoes but if I'm like in my house and I'm gonna take a photo for like my t-shirt, what like to sell t-shirts on my website or to put it on my Instagram, I'm always gonna throw some shoes on. I feel like it puts the outfit full together. Yeah, so that's why I'm always wearing shoes. Okay, this assumption is crazy. I feel like a lot of people think this about a lot of drivers too, not just me. And it's not always true. For the most part, it's not true. Um, they assume that I'm very rich and I essentially bought my way into racing. Yes, racing does cost a lot of money. Just to go go-kart racing costs a lot. Um, super late model racing costs a lot of money, but I did not come from a very wealthy family. Um, I didn't buy my way into NASCAR. I have a sponsor and 29 is my main sponsor. I also have Remarkable Pillow and other sponsors that I have worked with throughout the years. Um, so no, like my family has not bought me my way into racing. That is false. That is not true. And a lot of people think that of a lot of drivers and it's not true. A lot of these drivers do have sponsors and it's not their family's money. I'm like skipping some of these because I'm like, do I really want to answer these? I mean, maybe we'll go back to them. Um, okay, maybe we'll go back because they just keep getting worse, I swear, as I swipe. <laughs> okay, this, this makes me sad because a lot of people think this about not just me but other girls on social media. You use your body for attention on social media. And that is not true at all. I think whoever you are, you should be proud of yourself and the body you're in. And I don't ever use my pictures for attention. I love sharing my life with you so you can feel like you're here with me and have the inside scoop of what I'm doing um, but I don't post pictures or videos to get attention that way that is not at all what I do so that that one's false are we ever gonna get a true one I feel like I only screenshotted the false ones oh there's a true one here it is you love your dog more than Derek. Yes, <laughs> that is so true. Who doesn't? I know my mom loves her dogs more than my dad and me and my brother. I mean, it's always true. You always love the dog more.
you are entitled because you make a lot of money in NASCAR. I don't even know what you mean or what they mean by entitled. Um, no, I, I don't understand that question. I feel like that's a false because I feel like people think NASCAR drivers make more money than they actually do. Um, that one's intense. I, I don't even know how to answer that because that's, I don't feel entitled at all. In NASCAR at all, I don't feel entitled. And then in the real world, not at all. I feel like I'm a very small business trying to make my way through everything. And I'm learning and I'm young. Yeah, I don't know. You never raise your voice at anyone. False. I raise my voice a lot at my parents. We fight a lot. I work with my parents, so sometimes it gets a little heated. Um, I take a lot of my frustration or if I'm having a bad day out on my mom. But now that I have Derek, it has definitely switched more to Derek. I'm with Derek more. It's easier and sometimes randomly. I just will raise my voice at him. I don't mean to. I feel like if you know, you know. You probably do this if you really love someone and you're having a bad day, you're gonna take out your frustration on your loved ones and who you trust the most and who you know is gonna love you unconditionally. That's who you usually take out your frustration on. And that's why, you know, I do it to my parents a lot or I do it to Derek because I know that they're going to be there for me anyways and help me through it. So yeah, I, I do raise my voice. I try not to let anyone else hear it though. <laughs> oh, I think that's it. I think we just went through all of them. Let me double check. But I really think we just went through all of them. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. There was a lot of false, I guess I picked a lot of false ones, not very many true ones, but I really hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for tuning into the first podcast. Um, please stay tuned for more. Please subscribe and hit that bell so you can stay tuned for more podcasts, vlogs, and other videos that I come out with. And this is my first one, so I'm going to have to read this, but Derek came up with this and told me to use it for like the signing out of these podcasts and it goes we are going to stall out for now but stay tuned for the next in motion with me natalie decker <laughs> so that's that's derek's line he came up with i hope you like it but bye for now